For years, astronomers have been watching one of the brightest, most mysterious stars in the night sky beetle Jews, a colossal red giant on the edge of crumbling. They said it was coming. They just didn't know when. Now, the James Webb Space Telescope has captured what no one was sure we'd ever see, the moment beetle Jews began to explode. A cosmic shock, a dying star, a wave, a window into the raw power of the universe. This isn't just another observation from deep space. This is a once-in-a-lifetime event the closest supernova humanity has ever recorded, and Webb's observations have changed everything. Betelgeuse, located in the shoulder of the Orion constellation, is no ordinary star. It's a red supergiant more than 700 times the size of our sun and roughly 20 times as massive. For decades, scientists have known it was unstable, swelling, dimming, erupting. In 2019, it suddenly faded, triggering global speculation. Was this the final moment? Was it going supernova? Now. With Webb's precision, the mystery has grown. For the first time, we're seeing real-time indicators of stellar collapse massive energy discharges, shifting surface convection, and magnetic fields twisting into chaos. Betelgeuse isn't just dying, it's transforming before our eyes. The James Webb Telescope has been focused on Betelgeuse for months, using its infrared vision to peer into layers no previous observatory could penetrate. And now, the data is in. The results are stunning. We can see convective bubbles the size of Jupiter bursting on its surface. We can trace plumes of hot gas streaming into space at unimaginable speed. Hidden within the light spectrum is a signature shockwave rippling through the star's outer layers. For the first time ever, astronomers are watching the actual physics of a star tearing itself apart. This isn't a simulation. It's the real-time anatomy of a supernova and it's happening just 640 to light years from Earth. Unlike other supernovae that erupt in far-off galaxies, Betelgeuse is closed. Cosmically speaking, its explosion will eventually be so bright it could be visible during the day, outshining the full moon. More importantly, its proximity gives scientists a once-in-a-generation opportunity to study, up close, the death of a star, how its core collapses, how elements such as carbon and oxygen are forged, and how shockwaves reshape space around it. What Webb captured isn't just a star dying, it's the very process that creates the ingredients for life. The same components that formed Earth and us. We are watching our cosmic ancestry in reverse. The explosion of Betelgeuse is more than a spectacle. It is a key way to unlock the processes behind galaxy formation, planetary systems, and the cycle of life across the universe. With Webb's advanced instruments, we can now model the final stages of stellar evolution with unmatched precision. We can finally comprehend what takes place inside a dying star and perhaps even predict the signs of future supernovae long before they happen. This is not just science, it's revelation. A moment where humanity stared into the abyss of time and saw light explode back. The explosion of Betelgeuse is not a singular event. It sends shockwaves racing across light years, disturbing the interstellar medium. Already, Webb has detected the first ripples, high-energy particles moving outward, heating gas clouds, reshaping the star's dusty halo. But there is another possibility, a gravitational shift. Even at 640 to light years away, the collapse of Betelgeuse's core may have emitted gravitational waves the kind we've only just begun to detect. If confirmed, this would be the first time a visible supernova was directly linked with gravitational wave data. It would rewrite everything we know about the interaction of light, matter, and spacetime. As Betelgeuse collapses, one of the greatest cosmic questions returns, what will remain? A neutron star? A black hole or something stranger? The data from Webb suggests that Betelgeuse's collapse may not be entirely uniform. There are magnetic field disruptions, plasma voids, and a possible asymmetric fallback where material doesn't escape into space but is drawn back inward. 
Some even speculate that astrophysicists are observing a transitional object, a phenomenon that sits between a neutron star and a black hole long theorized but never observed. If Webb has caught this in action, it would be the first direct evidence of a new class of cosmic object. With just 640 to light years between Earth and the explosion, many have asked, are we in danger? The short answer is no Betelgeuse is not dangerously close. But the longer answer is more complex. A wave of high-energy particles, gamma radiation, and expanding the electromagnetic bursts will be released by the explosion. These could cause problems, clouds of cosmic dust that influence nearby star systems, and even changes in how light from distant regions reaches us. For now, Webb is closely monitoring the velocity and spread of this radiation front. Because even if we're safe, the explosion may alter the optical structure of our galactic neighborhood changing how we observe the universe from here on out. Betelgeuse is massive, ancient, powerful and yet it's dying. A reminder that even stars, those eternal lights in our sky, have limits. What Webb has captured is more than just a star dying. It's a cosmic mirror held up to us. Everything that lives ends. But in that end, new elements are born. New stars will rise from Betelgeuse's ashes. In the ensuing chaos, new worlds may merge. This is not destruction. This is cosmic renewal. And we were lucky enough to observe it. Among the vast data collected by the James Webb Telescope, scientists discovered something unexpected, variations in the composition of the ejected material. The fireball of Betelgeuse is not only releasing carbon, oxygen, and iron, but also rare elements like yttrium and technetium formed only in extreme stellar environments. How significant is this? Analyzing the ratios of these elements allows scientists to trace the life cycle of matter in our galaxy from the cores of dying stars, to the dust that forms planets, to the atoms inside you and me. Webb is more than just recording an explosion, it's decoding the chemical script of how life can exist. And Betelgeuse, in its final moment, is telling a story that began long before Earth existed. Betelgeuse will never return. Its place will grow into an expanding cloud of superheated gas and glowing debris in Orion. Yet its death is not the end, it's a gift. A gift of knowledge, of elements, of perspective. It reminds us that our sun too will eventually vanish. Even the most brilliant lights in the sky have a final act. Nevertheless, this conclusion also delivers the blueprint for all new things. Because without supernovae, there are no planets, no oceans, no life. And now, thanks to the James Webb Telescope, we can finally witness that full cycle from fiery collapse to the raw materials of creation. In the cold silence of space, 640 to light years from Earth, a star has ended its life. Not with a whisper, but with a brilliant final roar that traveled through the dark for centuries until it reached us. Greetings from the James Webb Space Telescope. We didn't just see it. We understood it, the indications, the collapse, the detonation. Not as legend, not as metaphor, but as fact. Betelgeuse didn't die in vain. In its final moment, it gave us answers to questions older than humanity itself. Where do the elements come from? How do stars live and die? And what will happen to our own sun? In that fading red light, Webb has captured more than a supernova. It captured our origin story and a glimpse of our future. So now we ask, what else is the universe ready to show us? And are we truly prepared to observe it? Let us know what you think in the remarks. Did this rank as the most important stellar event of our time? And what will be the next cosmic secret the James Webb Telescope reveals? Subscribe and turn on notifications because this isn't the end. It marks the start of what comes after the stars.